Hey, this is Mike for Licked. In this video, I'll show you how to edit audio in Adobe Audition CC. Okay, let's get down to editing audio. This is the view you'll get when you first load Adobe Audition, the waveform view, and it's really easy to select any point in the waveform and make an edit. Let's listen to the audio so far. Hello, this is Mike, and you're listening to my very first Oh, you notice I made a little mess up there. Something that often happens. We need to edit out that mistake and get back to it here. And you're listening to my very first podcast episode. Okay, so how to do that? Well, first of all, I'm going to select from here and from the and and then and you're listening and we're cutting there. So I'm going to select first of all here, click and drag to this point and then everything that's highlighted is the part of the audio we're going to delete. And to delete, you simply hit the delete key on your keyboard and now we've got an edit let's listen to it hello this is mike and you're listening to my very first okay you can hear the edit it's pretty jumpy the tone of my voice changes that edit really isn't going to win any awards so let's undo it and to do that you hit the command or control key depending if you're mac or pc and the z or the z key depending on what side of the pond you're on uh, so we've got the uh unedited audio back and instead of editing at the start of a word or the start of a sentence, look for a point in the speech where you've got a word you can edit midway uh, in between what is being spoken. You're listening to my very, okay, to my very, right, listening to my, right about here, let's have a listening to my, listening to my, so right between the middle of the word listening, 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 there is a nice little valley here and the waveform right there. Uh, this would be a great edit point. I'm going to hit the M key to place a marker there. There is marker zero three. And then I'll go over to here and you're listening. So again, looking for the same point in listening, listening to my listening to, listening to my listening to my. So again, right here in the sort of valley of the word here. And let's place marker four by hitting the M key on the keyboard again. Now, I could just roughly go between those markers, but it wouldn't be a very accurate edit that I'd be making. Uh, so in order to make this super accurate, I'm going to switch on snapping. This is the magnet tool over here or the S key on your keyboard. And you'll notice as I select, you see my uh, cursor snaps to that marker point. And again, this side snap, it snaps to the other marker point there. And then I can simply hit the delete key, make my edit, and that should be a perfect edit. Let's listen. Hello, this is Mike and... You're listening to my very first podcast episode. Much better than the original edit I made at the start of a word. So when you're editing, it's very simple. Selecting, highlighting, hitting delete, and then also placing markers to find the points that you want to cut between. You also definitely want to consider editing midway between the words. And if you want to do a pro tip and you want to really edit with accuracy, I highly recommend looking at the multi-track view of Adobe Audition. It's up here in the top left. You can click it, start a new session. We'll just call this new, click OK. You can then drag the audio you want to edit into Audition uh, here in the multi-track view. All your markers are still intact and you can actually edit stuff here. So I might edit out the word and, Let's switch off snapping by hitting the S key and you're listening to. Okay, so we don't really need the word and, so I can cut out and like that. Now we've got a big gap. Let's listen. Hello, this is Mike. You're listening to my. Okay, so now what I can do is trim this in a bit in multi track, move this over. We get a nice crossfade here, so the edit will sound really natural. Let's listen. Hello, this is Mike. You're listening to my very first podcast episode. Really, really cool stuff, isn't it? And within moments, we're editing. And the best thing about working in multi track view is it's non destructive, meaning you can make as many edits as you want and you won't affect the original waveform audio file that you had. All you have to do is double click the file, go back to the waveform view, and all your unedited audio is here. So highly recommend using multi-track view once you get used to editing in Adobe Audition. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one. And if you'd like to use the track I'm using in the background right now, head over to Licked.